This podcast is brought to you by Enlightening Learners Academic Coaching and Tutoring Services. In this presentation, we're going to learn how to solve systems of quadratic equations and linear equations. So in essence, we're going to see where these, the quadratic equation and the line cross points. Some questions that you'll need to answer at the end of this presentation. How is the substitution process used to find a solution to a parabola and a linear equation? What are there two values for each x? Or excuse me, why are there two values for each x? And finally, what is the next step after both values have been found? So we're going to start by trying to use these two equations using the substitution method to solve. We have two equations, y equals x squared minus 4x minus 6, which is a parabola. I know it's a parabola because of the, uh, the second power. And I know that this is a linear equation. What I want to do is I want to substitute my y with this given value. So I'm going to draw that there. And I'm going to rewrite the equation. Negative 1x plus 4 equals x squared minus 4x minus 6. And then what I want to do is I want to get, I want to combine my like terms and get everything over to one side. I do that by subtracting a 4 on both sides. And I get a negative 10. And I want to, I'm going to bring everything else down. And then finally, I want to combine this negative 1x to this 4x by adding 1x to both sides. I've got nothing left on this side. But what I want to do at this point is I want to factor x squared minus 3x minus 10. So the next step is to complete the diamond method. This box is a times c, or 1 times negative 10, which is a negative 10. This box down here is a negative 3, or the value here, which is the value b. And finally, I want to ask myself, what times what multiplies out to give me a negative 10, and added gets me a negative 3? I know that negative 5 times a positive 2 equals a negative 10. And when I add these together, it's a negative 3. But I'm not quite done yet, because I want to. I now need to divide both sides by a. That is the value in front of the x squared. This can't be simplified, so I'm left with x minus 5. This can't be simplified, so I'm left with x plus 2. I'm still not done because I need to set each one equal to 0 and solve for x. So in this case, x equals 5. And I'm going to take this value and set it equal to 0. And x equals negative 2. Well, I've now found two values, 5 and negative 2. I'm going to plug both values into either equation and solve for y. And I have to do the substitution twice. Negative 1 times 5 is a negative 5. Negative 5 plus 4 is equal to negative 1. That's what my first y is. So my first point is 5, comma, negative 1. That's where the quadratic and the line cross. I still have another point to determine. I'm going to take my negative 2 that I found down here and plug it into this equation. I'm going to substitute my x with a negative 2. 
and simplify. Negative 1 times negative 2 is a positive 2. And 2 plus 4 is a positive 6. My second solution, my second point, is negative 2, comma, 6. Okay, so let's start the second pro the second problem. Um, again, we want to use substitution. We want to take this value, and I'm going to plug it into the y. Negative one half x plus zero is equal to one quarter x to the second minus twelve. I don't like dealing with the fractions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply everything out by a 4. What that will do is it'll get rid of the 2, because 4 divided by 2 can simplify to a negative 2 with no denominator. And this 4 will cancel that 4, leaving me with a 1x to the second, minus 48. I want to add 2x to both sides. I can't combine this x to the second and this x because they're on like terms, leaving me with 0 on one side, 1x to the second plus 2x minus 48. I now need to factor this out. I'm going to use the diamond method. Remember this value is a times c. This value is b. a times c is 1 times negative 48, which is a negative 48. And my b value is 2. Remember, a is always the number that's next to the x to the second. c is always the number that's by itself with no letter. And b is the number that's attached to the x. I've got a negative 48 and a positive 2. I know that 6 and 8 can multiply out to give me a 48. And if I add these, I know that a positive 8 and a negative 6 will combine to give me a 2. So these are the two values. I now have to divide both of these by a 1, or divide by a, and see if they simplify. This doesn't simplify, nor does this. So I'm left with x minus 6 and x plus 8. I'm going to set both of these equal to 0 and solve. And when I simplify this, x equals 6, and x equals negative 8. So I've found my x values. Notice that I've got two x values, so I've got to plug both of these values into either equation. I'm going to plug it into this one, because it will be easier. y equals 1 half x plus 0. y equals 1 half of 6 plus 0. Half of 6 is 1 times 6 divided by 2, which is 3. So y equals 3. My first solution is 6, 3. I'm going to do that process again. y equals 1 half x plus 0. In this case, I'm going to replace the x with a negative 8. y equals 1 half of negative 8 plus 0. 1 half of negative 8. 1 times negative 8 is a negative 8. Divided by 2 is a negative 4. y equals negative 4. When I plug in a negative 8, I get out a negative 4. That's my second solution.